Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you the new Aura feature. We're going to just quickly go over how it works uh, and all the little ins and outs of it so that you've got uh, the perfect understanding of uh, exactly how this brand new feature works. So uh, what we're going to do is we are not going to go to Heroes, we are going to go to Promote. So. Uh, like before, when you were getting a, uh, a skill up for one of your units, you would stick them in, you would go to level up, and then you would need either version of that hero if there was more than one. So we're going to use Meg for this example. So in order to get any skill ups on Meg, you would have to level Meg, your main Meg, up with either Meg or the other unit that would work in Meg's case was Talana. Uh, because Meg and Talana are effectively the exact same kind of unit, so they can each skill each other up. Now, the difference is when it comes to auras is that it has to be the identical unit. So the only way to get Meg's skill ups, um, or sorry, Meg's aura leveled up is to give her other Megs. If you give her Talana's, they will not come up on this aura screen. It will only come up with Meg's. So... What you then do is you come to this aura feature, uh, it's right under upgrade and this is in the normal uh, promote screen. You pick the other units that you want to sacrifice uh, and then you will hit the sure button, you will pay for the aura upgrade and as you can see there the aura went from level 3 to level 5 and then the really cool feature about this is that you then get in return blue fishes uh, at the natural star rank of whatever uh, unit you increase their aura of. So when I just increased Meg's aura there by two, I then got two rank three blue fishes so that I can still have another rank three unit to help promote um, other units uh, or whatever I want to do with them. So this is really, really beneficial because let's just show you guys, we're not actually going to do this. But if I have my Possessed King here, and if I wanted to upgrade his aura by one, I would then have to feed him my second Possessed King. Um, but that would kind of suck, because then I would want to have like a rank five that I could help promote this guy with. But the cool thing then is that if I feed him my second Possessed King, his aura will go up by one, and then in return I'll get a rank five blue fish. So you don't exactly lose out on the uh, the additional rank 5 there uh, to help uh, promote them to a higher star rank later on. The other thing to keep in mind though is that you only get the blue fish at the star rank of the natural star rank of the unit you use to upgrade their aura. So for example, uh, if I was, let's use Meg again for example, um, when I feed her additional uh, Megs to increase her aura, I'm going to get rank 3 blue fishes in return because Meg is a natural rank 3. She is a rare hero, so she is a natural rank 3. Even if I rank up the other Megs to rank 4 or to rank 5 before I feed them to her to upgrade her aura, I'm still only going to get rank 3 blue fishes because, again, Meg is a natural rank 3 unit. So, I hope that brief explanation kind of helps uh, some people better understand what the aura mechanic does uh, and how you can uh, upgrade your hero's auras. Only heroes that are, nat uh, that are natural 3 stars, 4 stars, or 5 stars have auras. Uh, so any of like the natural 2 stars like the genies or czar, they do not have auras. So you won't have to worry about those for those kinds of units. So again, I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to give it a like down below. If you've got any other questions about how auras function, please leave them down in the comments below. I will do my best to go through those, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But that's going to do it for this video. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.